What's up everyone, Ains here from Season Gaming, back with another statue unboxing and review, and this time we are finally looking at the Witcher 3 series statue from Prime 1 Studio, which as I've been talking about, end caps my series of videos on the Witcher 3 line. So believe it or not, I ordered this in February of 2018, so it's nearly been three years I've been waiting on this one. I know they had some complications with the design, with uh, production and of course shipping um, but finally here we are so as I've done with uh, the other videos I'm gonna give you the full unboxing break down what I think of the detail and then uh, later in the video we'll do a comparison to the other prime one uh, Witcher statues and see how it stacks up in that line so right away very similar box to the others uh, if you're familiar with Witcher like I said you know this is Siri or as she is known by her full name uh, from Nilfgaard Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon. So make sure you remember that for the rest of the video. Um, <clears throat> you can see here, beautiful box. Uh, looks to be, according to uh, Prime 1, uh, obviously it's a 1 to 4 scale statue. According to Prime 1, because her sword is upright from the tip of the sword to the base, is actually 27 inches. So uh, all up, it's over 2 feet again, like uh, pretty much like the others. So let's go ahead and start getting this thing unboxed and we'll see what we have. Now as always, Prime One gives you a little calendar, uh, although this is a 2020 calendar, so it just goes to show how long ago this supposedly was going to ship. Um, but you know, that's neither here nor there, we're past it. Now, this is the exclusive edition, which according to uh, Prime One and Sideshow, who distributed this in the US, that is a, uh, <clears throat> It is, uh, the only difference is a portrait, apparently, and it's only a $20 difference where with a lot of exclusive statues, you will see, you know, uh, quite a substantial price difference. So I don't really know what to expect here. I haven't actually looked up the difference between the two directly, but we'll find out. If I can get this thing out, of course. All right. So, uh, this looks to be the top. Let me go ahead, get this cut open, and we'll dive in. All right, so right away, obviously, the face is the most prominent thing in these statues. So let's go ahead and get that out first. And uh, <laughs> as I continue mentioning, and I will um, continue mentioning going forward, I've had a few statues arrive with broken pieces. Uh, in particular, uh, the Triss statue arrived broken last. So. Uh, along with this small lesion from Dark Horse behind me. So <clears throat> let's just keep our fingers crossed, please, because when you pay a lot of money for something and you wait three years for it to arrive, the last thing you want to see is it arrive with anything broken. All right, already looks to be a beautiful base, just like the others and you would expect. And these bases are heavy. Uh, I think the statue weight on this is 33 pounds all up. So, Witcher 3, oh, Siri exclusive, 177 out of 500. Not a bad, uh, not a bad lot number. The thing I really like about uh, this line of Witcher 3 statues is that they are all meant to be displayed together. And what I mean by that is the bases all have the same very bottom frame here with the school here in front which will attach shortly along with some type of creature and uh, the character on top of it so it's just a, a beautiful line in that regard now i did get crucified on my i think it was the trist statue because i mistakenly called a foglet a drowner god forbid right um, so I didn't look up ahead of time what uh, series actually standing on here. This could be some type of creature. It looks like it actually might be a werewolf, depending on um, how this, what they were going for here. I'll try to make sure I get this put in correctly. Okay, so it's like that. As you know, there's usually a lot of pieces with these statues, so um, let me go ahead and get most of these small ones kind of set up and then we can talk through it. All right, so 
definitely looks like a werewolf uh, based on what we're seeing here and uh, frame is ready to go now what I'm noticing right away is the exclusive looks to be an actual alternate head um, so there are two heads here and when they said uh, portrait I thought they meant uh, you know uh, some of these statues include an actual frame picture that you can put up especially for a $20 difference I didn't expect uh, a second actual headpiece um, but that's what we have here and uh, as you would expect the uh, the look and the makeup and everything else is very well done of course once I get fully set up here <clears throat> I will give you a close-up. Just let's get the statue finished putting together first. Okay, so you can have one portrait, um, excuse me, one <clears throat> head where she is uh, basically with or without her Witcher necklace. So obviously, you got to go with the one with the necklace, right? I mean, that just makes the most sense. So let's go ahead and get her out. Now again, one of my favorite things with these statues, and I've talked about it extensively, is just the detail work on the actual um, characters themselves. Uh, from the stitching to the leather work, uh, you know, it's just, it's just exquisite. So you see that again here. She even little, you know, even has a school of the cat uh, thing hanging from her belt right there, which is awesome. Okay, so after a little struggle, some confusion, we've got her fully put together. Now, um, it, it looks magnificent here, standing here. I will uh, now zoom in and give you a better look at all the details like I usually do. Uh, I will say right away, there's a few things I'm disappointed here, uh, in here, which, is, uh, which obviously is what it is. But let me go ahead, get zoomed in, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so let's take a closer look at some of the details we have here. So, you have the school of the cat plate on the front, uh, just like the others they line up well and uh, you know associate to the character themselves so as always with this uh, killed monster here slayed defeated whatever you want to say um, <clears throat> really nice detail around the blood the way it shines uh, some of the painting around the mouth and here in the ears even how it's all bloody uh, around the side and even drips down onto the rock a little bit here which is cool um, <clears throat> About Siri herself, uh, the character models here are always kind of the uh, the focus point. And uh, as I've said before, I've been really impressed with Prime One and what they've done. So from the stitching, the leather, the shading of the leather, even you can kind of see the texture, detail, and even the worn parts of the leather around the uh, collars here, which is really, really impressive. As always, there's lots of custom stitching in the belt, uh, which thankfully, unlike Tris, didn't come broken this time. And, uh, you know, if you know Witcher and Ciri, she has very stunning green eyes, which are captured well here. They almost reflect in the light a little bit, uh, along with her kind of uh, strandy, whitish, grayish hair. So, uh, <clears throat> let me spin this around. And you can see some more of the, uh, the cool details here, including uh, a few other pieces you saw me attach, uh, or didn't see me attach, but this little strand here plugs in, as you can see. Um, and kind of hangs off like her shirt, which is awesome. A little extra uh, sword here, which attaches, obviously here. And even look at like the uh, the shading of the leather bag here. Um, just really, really well done. Looks realistic. It even looks different from the leather bag in the front in the sense of just age, not in a quality uh, perspective. Um, and then this branch here that obviously extends around and kind of fills out the frame. So really, really well done. Now, <clears throat> Oh, one other thing I'll touch on, it's just a sword, a uh, beautiful sword. Just like Geralt, uh, it's actually real metal, which I think is very cool. And so uh, it's actually molded, you know, really, really well. The one annoying thing was the way it attached right here, uh, it didn't fit very well. I kind of had to force it on and uh, it's not 100% flush, which is um, kind of annoying for a statue of this price. So now the one big complaint I have here, and I'm a little confused as to why Prime One did this. Um, with all of the other statues I've gotten from them, and especially in the Witcher line, the head pieces and the alternate heads kind of attach here at the neckline or somewhere in the back, and you slot the heads in. In this case, 
this entire piece, including her neck, uh, her neckline, goes into the shirt. And what that does is, at a distance, it looks fine, um, but if you get up close, in here, under the collar, which is going to be probably too close to show you, but just in this line here, there's actually a tiny little gap. And so you can see a gap where this connects under the shirt, which obviously, you know, again, very minor complaint. From a distance, you're not going to see it. But when you spend this much on a statue, you wait this long for it, um, you expect the details to be fine. And as they typically are here, um, the rest of them are fantastic. But for a statue of this price and quality, that shouldn't happen. It should always be flush. It should sit well, and that shouldn't be something you even notice. So for me to struggle getting kind of this head in properly, and if for, for it to still sit uh, with a gap, and I'm sure based on the way this is designed, that that gap can vary depending on the mold. Um, there's probably some people who have no gap, probably some people who have an even bigger gap, um, and that's problematic. I don't know why they designed it that way. But again, relatively minor complaint. I'm not ultra picky. I just wanted to call it out because I know there are cat collectors who are far more picky than I am. Um, regardless, despite that, I uh, really like this piece. It's, uh, you know, been waiting on it a while. I'm glad to finally have Siri in the house. Uh, and so what we'll do now <clears throat> is I'll bring over uh, uh, a couple of the other and you can see them together as a line like I've talked about. Let's do it. So there you go. That is the Siri statue uh, from Prime One, which finishes at least my videos in this line. Uh, as you know, we've done Geralt, we've done Yennefer. I actually left Triss across the room there. Um, but those are the four key ones that I was looking forward to. Prime One did just unveil a one to three in Geralt with a different, you know, form factor. One to three statues are even bigger. Um, I just don't care for the face, so I'm not going to be getting that one. However, um, like I said, you can see in this kind of frame picture here, the aesthetic here is really gorgeous. They fit together. They look beautiful displayed together. So if you have the room, you have the means, you'll love these characters. By all means, I recommend it. Siri, like I said, just has some very small uh, disappointments. Um, really, like I said, the neck thing is about the only thing that really disappoints me, but there's still some tremendous details and, you know, it just, look at it, it it's great. So um, otherwise, uh, as always, we've got a lot more on the way. I don't know how many statues I have coming in the future, but there'll be videos for all of them, all different lines of games and everything else. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thank you sincerely for always tuning in to Season Gaming. We greatly appreciate it. Until next time.